Welcome back. Well, a former French aid worker has been convicted over a tweet. Well, Cindy in the Cube has the details. Well, NGOs are saying that this is absolutely unprecedented. This former aid worker was found guilty of defamation because of this tweet that he sent out. And this was a tweet that was sent out in January by a man named Loan Tohondel. We've blurred the faces of the officer and, and the other man here. So in this tweet, the, the scenario is this. You see two officers standing over who, uh, a man who appears to be a migrant. So Loen um, came up with this with this story in which the officers supposedly you know, took away his sleeping bag, that it was a really, really cold day. And then he wrote this line in, Fran in French, which says, Mais nous sommes la nation française, monsieur. So he was being sarcastic there when he says, but we are the French nation, sir, which is a reference to the phrase that Macron used last year when he was talking about overcoming diversity, uh, adversity. So Loen said that uh, he drummed up this scenario as a way of showing how migrants are treated. He was an aid worker at the time in the north of France, and this was a scenario that he, he put on Twitter. Well, it turns out that the officers then sued him for defamation. And this week, in a French court, they won, which means that this young man has to pay the officers 500 euros, as well as 475 euros in uh, court fees. So I got a chance to speak with him today, uh, getting his reaction uh, to uh, th uh, this lawsuit, uh, and this is what he had to tell us. I'm really surprised by this court decision because we made an official complaint to the prosecutor in January about police who took blankets on sleeping bags of refugees in Calais. We made a full complaint with evidence, testimony and photo, but we never got any answer from the prosecutor. We never got any letter about it. Um, at, at the same time, they are, they are trying to charge humanitarian worker for speaking about human rights abuse on social networks. So, yeah, yeah, I'm really surprised and I hope the appeal will bring a better decision for us. And he, as you just heard right there, he said that he will be uh, appealing this decision, a decision that a lot of NGOs have condemned online, including staff with Human Rights Watch, uh, saying that he should not be condemned for an ironic uh, tweet. We're seeing a lot of tweets just like this. Now, I've reached out to the court, the court that... Uh, ruled uh, that, that came down with this hearing this week in Boulogne-sur-Mer. They confirmed that they have received a request from Euronews, but they have not given us an explanation as to the reason why uh, he was found uh, guilty for this tweet. Uh, I should note as well that Loen is no longer working as an aid worker because he's resumed his studies. But this is something that is uh, getting a lot of people talking.